I mean, what, what's happened to our country? For, it's as though you can't even commit financial fraud anymore. You can't, you can't inflate the value of your properties uh, when you need a loan and then deflate it uh, with taxes. I mean, uh, the next thing you know, they're going to send you to jail instead of your lawyer and your accountant and your campaign manager and everyone else uh, ar around you. It's no, to, the idea that someone may face accountability uh, who's that rich and powerful is outrageous and this country shouldn't stand for it. There's a good reason why Jon Stewart has been one of the most popular and influential voices in American politics for decades now. The reason why Donald Trump became popular in the first place and the reason why these populist movements is that the citizenry have become fed up with the lack of accountability for those in power. We have no accountability in our financial systems. We have no accountability for the bankers. I mean, our uh, Congress trades stocks with information they get making laws, and they do it to great success. And they won't stop it because they're the ones in charge of making the law about it. Despite our differences with Stewart, he is 1000% right here. Trump's posturing as a populist is a calculated and deliberate tactic to convince people to vote against their own economic and material interests by focusing on culture war issues to distract voters from the real corruption going on in our government. What would you do if you were out of governing ideas? If, if, you, if you didn't know how to govern a country of this magnitude and a country of this diversity and uh, you basically are running on government is broken and then when you get in office you have to be terrible to prove the original premise. If you don't have ideas on governing, what do you do? Well, you do the purposeful distortion field that they create. But, but it works, and by the way, right? Because it's emotional. It's does mixed. it work? Why, I don't Who's know. Who's the president? Well, but I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily work. It gets people upset. It gets them angry. It makes them fearful about threats and, and, uh, and, and hyper, uh, you know, hyperbole and makes them afraid of things that can't even really be defined, meanwhile ignoring so many issues. This is textbook Republican politics, and those in power know all too well that their base runs purely on fear, whether it be inducing paranoia about immigrants taking our jibs and invading our country, preaching that the devil has taken over public schools, or claiming that anyone who disagrees with them is evil without fear and taking advantage of our horrible education system. The Republican Party simply would not survive. Now, more from Stewart. And instead of bringing accountability to the rampant corruption that is uh, uh, surrounds our, our government and our financial systems, the Supreme Court just changed the definition of corruption. Rather than prosecuting it, rather than holding people accountable, they just went, how about this? How about, okay, why don't we just say this? It was even better than that, was that they said, you politicians, you think that's corruption because you're engaging it, but we actually don't think it's corruption. And, and we're we're going to tell you, don't worry about it. You can influence, yeah, Petal, yeah. as long as you don't explicitly say, this by the, the way, thing. this money is so that I may influence this law yeah. specifically. It's hard to watch. It's hard to watch a state, you talked about Sarah Huckabee Sanders. It's hard to watch a state that's like 48th in, you know, infant mortality and, and child poverty and literacy and won't make take a big deal about tr uh, a trans uh, girl that wants to play soccer that doesn't, uh, that happens like once every five years there. Like, it's hard to not be angry about people that try and distract from the real things that people face with weaponized nonsense. The saddest part about the weaponized nonsense from Republicans is that it always, always is done at the expense of an already marginalized group of people and materially impacts the targeted group or individual. The, the lack of confidence that people have in the system is, and you even see it throughout the media, even that conversation, should we, should we not? It's a, oh, but he's popular and then it might make him more popular, but not less popular. Did he do something wrong? What was it? Explain that to us.
What is the law that he supposedly violated? What are the ramifications of it? Uh, I, I don't see him ever actually going to jail. I personally don't even care. I just want a system that somehow finds a consistent accountability. This is what should be at the heart of anyone's political belief system. Morality should be what guides your political opinions, not the hyper-partisan team sports mentality that has been pounded into our heads since we were kids. They always talk about, you know, the, uh, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. But it doesn't bend towards justice by gravity. Like, you have to bend it. And there's a bunch of people trying to bend it back. And you use every tool in your arsenal. If there are any stories we missed, if there are any that you, the viewer, would like to submit, get at me and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. DMs are open. Support the channel. All of our content is free. It's the least you could do. Become a paid channel member and or go to tyt.com join to support the network as a whole. Thank you so much. Have a great day.